Uh, welcome back. Uh, I know I haven't shown any programming videos in a while. I've been busy making some gaming videos. Um, but this one, I'll show you how to find the area and the circumference of a circle using the values given by the user. Uh, there are many ways you can do this. Uh, this is a simple program. It's good for beginners. The program can also be used by um, elementary schoolers. Uh, first thing you need to do is open up um, an empty console project and a console CPP file. I name mine uh, Circle Equations. Um, as always, you just sign it. Right here, I've signed it with my own name, uh, which is Nasmus, and the program name. You can also add maybe a purpose. I'll do it on easy programming video. As always, um, most of my programs start out the same way, which you have to include IOStream. I showed you that you could include other things such as MathH and a few others for other functions. We won't need anything more than IOStream at this point. As I said before, you need uh, using namespace standard so that you don't have to put std in front of almost every equation that you do. Uh, so this makes it a lot easier. Um, void main, I like using void main, but you can always use int main. And remember that you don't use a semicolon here to stop it. Stop the void main or the IO stream, only on standard and everything else. The only reason you don't do this here is because you're opening a bracket and as always you should close it just in case you forget later on. The first thing you have to do is declare some values. Um, instead of using the integer or float that I've showed you before, we're going to use um, pi. Uh, we're going to use double because pi is a pretty long value. You can use other values such as um, 22 over 7, uh, 355 over 113 and a few other values, but I've copied mine from a site on Google. It's easier, it's a little bit more accurate than what 22 over 7 will give you. And it's up to a reasonable value. Uh, first, let's declare. We'll do double. And we'll declare, declare pi, radius, area, and circumference. It doesn't matter what you name them, you can put um, P, R, A, C, if you, want, if you just don't want to do letters. Uh, the next thing you have to do is declare what pi is so that you don't forget later on and uh, since I copied this from a uh, site on Google um, it'll be that it's a pretty long value uh, I don't expect anyone to memorize it even I don't have it memorized now we start the part of the program where everyone can see what's going on so we'll start up with the C out first you want to ask prompt the user to input the value of the radius which is essential for this, for both the area and the circumference equations. Uh, we'll do um, please input the value of the radius. You want to put a space there in between the co uh, the quote and the semicolon, and the colon, so that everything isn't stuck together. And then you just see in. It'll tell the program that the user is putting in radius. Remember to end that line again. Once that's done, you start with the actual programs, with the actual equations. I mean, we'll do area first. It'll be area equals 2 pi r squared. So it'll be pi times radius times radius, which is the same as radius squared. Make sure to end it. Circumference. Circumference equals 2. It's be, it'll be 2 pi r, so it'll be 2 times pi times radius. Once that's done, you can start imp uh, outputting the results. We'll do in a C out. C out equals to the area of the circle is. Remember to cascade it. You put area. The value of the area here is received from whatever the calculation puts out here. And and the circumference is. You can go on the next line. It doesn't really matter uh, as long as you don't end it. The line won't end is the circumference uh, it comes the value here comes from here you cascade it again and you need just a single quote here to for the period since it's a single character and ENDL ends the line
Once that's done, you should make sure you have system pause in there so the program doesn't shut off immediately. Pause. Remember to end it. Once that's done, you can run it. You can press F5 or you can go to the menu and debug. Uh, looks like I had some errors. I'll look at it. Circumference. I guess I spelled it wrong. Circumference. There we go. Run it. Did I still spell it wrong? New line and constant. Uh, I guess I'm a little shoddy here. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, my mistake here is that I forgot to end this uh, with the double quote. It should run now. And it does. We see the program here. Let's see the value of the radius is 2. Uh, yeah, that's not right. 23. There we go. Uh, typo after typo. See how they put 2? The value should be the same because it'll be 2 pi r squared. It'll be 2 times 2 in both places. You can close it. You can try it with the value of 5. It's 78.5 and 31.4, which sounds about right. Uh, I know some people may want to do this with diameter instead of radius. Um, that's also easy. All you have to do is add the diameter here. Uh, declare it. You change this to diameter to, so you don't confuse the user. You change the CN to diameter. But you have an extra line to the equation. You'll have to convert it to radius to keep things a lot more simpler and to ch keep from changing the rest of the equation. So I'll put radius equals to diameter divided by 2. I put the 2 point there so that it doesn't turn out to be an integer, uh, which means it won't have a decimal point. The point there helps out. So you put, you debug again. Uh, please input the input. Let's do 4 since uh, radius will be 2. We know what the answer is 12.5 and 12.5 sounds about right. Let's test another one with the value of 10. Uh, we know the uh, radius is 5. 78.5 and 31.4. It's pretty simple. Uh, there are more ways that you can actually do this program, but this is simple. This is good for beginners practicing. Uh, this was also one of the first ones that I learned to get me through. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I'll bring more challenging ones later on. If you have any suggestions of any calculation that you might want to see, any programs you want me to write, uh, feel free to let me know. If you want a copy of this program, um, also comment and I'll message it to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.